Now, it's time to engage. Nintendo's Tactical Fantasy RPG Fire Emblem returns with a new installment, Fire Emblem Engage. With a new continent to explore, relationships to foster and the engage mechanic to take down foes, there's a lot to see and do in this new Fire Emblem adventure. Whether you're returning to the series or have never played it before, here are five things you need to know before you play Fire Emblem Engage. 1,000 years ago, the four kingdoms of the continent of Elios joined forces to fight a war against the Fell Dragon. Since their victory, it's been locked away, but the imprisoning seal is now weakening and the Fell Dragon is about to reawaken. You play as Alea, a divine dragon who has woken up after a thousand years sleep with no memory of their past and one task, to find the 12 emblem rings that contain heroes from the past, whose power helped to defeat the Fell Dragon long ago. The journey to find the Emblem Rings will take you across the continent, where you'll meet allies and enemies and deepen your bonds with a colourful cast of characters. Throughout the adventure, Alia will meet and forge relationships with characters both old and new to join in battle and aid their quest. Recognisable characters from previous Fire Emblem games such as Marth, Byleth and Roy are known as Emblems. They can be summoned to fight alongside you with the Engage mechanic, but more on that in a moment. New characters include Aaliyah's mother, Divine Dragon Lumera, who rules over the Holy Land of Lithos and helped to defeat the Fell Dragon 1000 years ago. You'll also encounter the Crown Princes and Princesses of the four other realms of Elios. Alfred of Firenae, Diamant of Brodia, Tamara of Solm, and Ivy of Illusia. Recurring Fire Emblem character Anna is here too, and this time she's a playable party member. These are just a few of the many people you'll meet throughout Engage's story. Some will fight with you, others against you, so knowing your way around combat is crucial. The tactical turn-based combat of previous installments is here, but a number of changes have been made to shake up what you can do on the battlefield. In a departure from Three Houses, Engage foregoes weapon durability and marks the return of the classic weapon triangle that functions like rock, paper, scissors. Axes beat lances, lances beat swords, and swords beat axes. Using a weapon that has advantage against an enemy will break them so that they're unable to counterattack. Weapons outside of the triangle, like bows and spell tomes, are weak to physical attacks, but their range enables units to attack from a distance. Some weapons are more effective against certain enemy unit types. For example, bows inflict bonus damage against flying units. If you're playing classic mode, the decisions you make in combat can have lasting consequences, as units can die permanently if defeated in battle. Engage's deep and layered combat system rewards planning, strategic thinking, and effective use of the game's major new mechanic, engaging with emblem rings. Lend me your strength. As previously mentioned, Emblem Rings contain the power of heroes from prior Fire Emblem installments. All playable characters can be equipped with any of the 12 Emblem Rings. Doing so summons the associated emblem and boosts a synced unit's stats, gives them access to special skills and makes them more effective in combat. After filling the Engage meter, engage emblems to fuse your unit and emblem together for three turns. When engaged, the unit's appearance will change and they can use special engage weapons, engage skills and engage attacks, such as Marth's Lordstar Rush, which unleashes a flurry of hits. Enter the Ring Chamber in the Somnial to see your collection of emblem rings. Learn new skills, create and meld bond rings for additional stat boosts and polish emblem rings after battle. <laughs> That looks so much better. Speaking of the Somniel, the Somniel is your floating fortress paradise in the sky above Elios. As your base of operations, it's here players can prepare for battle, forge and maintain friendships and train for the fight ahead. At the plaza, visit the armory to purchase new weapons and the item shop for stat boosting consumables. Get battle ready by training at the arena or gain rewards by battling at the Tower of Trials. Allies and emblems can be found around the Somniel. By speaking with them, you'll forge stronger relationships and create a formidable fighting force. Taking friends out for meals at Cafe Terrace can improve their stats for the next battle, while giving characters gifts increases support, which improves their effectiveness on the battlefield and opens up new conversations. The Somniel is also home to many other activities. Catch fish at the pond, work out at the training yard, or pick up some new clothes for your party at the boutique. And if you're an animal lover, look after four-legged friends you find out in the world by bringing them back to the farmyard. One animal already at home at the Somniel is Somi, a mysterious creature who rewards those who care for it. 
team up with heroes of all to finally defeat the Fell Dragon when Fire Emblem Engage launches on 20th of January, only on Nintendo Switch. For more on Fire Emblem, stick with IGN.